Okay. Good. Episode uh, 166. We're live, and we are sponsored by Yo Kratom. Fans of the show over the age of 21, I want to tell you about Yo Kratom. Home with a $60 kilo. How much? $60. For what? A full kilo. That's right. If you're currently a fan of Kratom, you can be getting it from our newest sponsor yo kratom for 60 dollars a kilo that's right if you're currently a fan of kratom you can be getting it from our newest sponsor yo kratom for 60 dollars a kilo if you aren't a fan of kratom well then ignore this ad the fact that yo kratom has high quality kratom for just 60 bucks has a a kilo has no relevance to your life but if you're a fan of kratom then it's time to stop overpaying or having to go to corner stores or gas stations one more time thank you to yo kratom for supporting this show and if you're into Kratom, Yo Kratom is one place where you can find $60 kilos. These guys are the, one of the biggest Kratom wholesalers and they created YoKratom.com so that you can buy directly at incredible prices. Last time, YoKratom.com holding $60 kilo. Whoa. It's fight week. Holy fuck, it's crazy, dude. Is Sunday or Monday fight week? Is Sunday the end of the week, right? I'd say Monday's fight week start. Oh, okay. so it's not fight week. <laughs> but when this drops, it'll be fight week. Yep. And we'll probably, well, this will probably drop either Monday or Tuesday. We'll probably be in Vegas. We're close to. What time are we leaving? I don't know. I'm waiting for them to fuck send me the shit. I'm going to Scottsdale, flying out, PJ style, baby. Damn. Yeah. I can't. It's just another fight camp in the books. Yeah, another one in the books. Another one in the books. Holy smokes. Oh, I man. cut carbs a couple days ago, so that's never fucking fun, dude. Anyone that doesn't <laughs> eat carbs is a psychopath. Also, anyone that chooses almond milk in their fucking coffee over oat milk yep. is a piece of shit, and your fucking taste buds don't work. Unless they don't know. If you use almond milk because you don't know, you haven't tried oat milk, yeah, that's different. But if you choose yeah. between the two... Yep. You use almond milk? You're stupid, dude. We did that little uh, eggnog oat milk Ooh. latte you guys did. That, that turned out pretty good. Yeah. I've been making the best. Well, now I have to... Fu- I still make Danny and oat milk one. Mm-hmm. And I've been using the turmeric and the and the fucking... Just a bunch of different flavors. And it's just, wow. I take a sip of hers and I drink mine. I'm just like, I'm just grateful to be here. Yeah, the thickness of the oat milk compared to the watery, watery <laughs> I was, That's not what I thought milk. about it. I thought it was more tasty. Not thicker, you fucking No, it's loop. definitely thick. It makes it more... Uh, like semen-like. Yeah, if that's the only thing that you think of when that's you think what you thick. Said. I think of thick booties when I think thick. Yeah, well, you're weird. Uh, I was leaking, speaking of, I was listening to the More Dates, More Plates uh, with Rogan. Um, great podcast. Uh, and he, were, he went on someone else's? No, he went on Rogan's. More oh, Dates, okay. More Plates guy. The guy that always says what he thinks is John Jones' cycle or Paulo Costa's steroid cycle, the guy that posts on YouTube all the time. Oh, I've never seen him. Oh, he was, they were, it was funny. They were talking about how um, guys will just put on this front to get chicks. And then they'll, they'll hold that front for a month or two months, three months. And then finally they're just like, all right, I got her. And then they just be, start acting them regular selves. And they're like completely fooled the girl. Because it's so easy to act a certain way to a girl when you're only doing inter- or you're just texting or mm-hmm. just the simple short little interactions you have with them for a couple hours at a time. And then you go be your fucked up self. But they were talking about, uh, yeah, it was just so. I, I wanted to make sure I brought that up. Have you ever? Now. Have you ever done that? I remember. Oh the, yeah, the that's fir- all I did in high school to get chicks, dude. Yeah, you think? I remember the first. I time. did it unconsciously though. I yeah. never did it like I'm gonna. I always did it not conscious of actually what thinking of what I'm doing or thinking like what is this girl's gonna like? Yeah, I'm gonna just try to do whatever I think she likes. I remember I drove a, an old 1993 uh, Honda Accord. And first date with Mariah and I, we were going to Outback Steakhouse, and I used Trevor's truck because I was embarrassed of my car. You should have been. And she's like, "I like your truck," and I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> it's not, no, it's not mine. I told her. And uh, well, yeah, you don't want to get stuck in the snow in your car. It makes sense, dude. Yeah, the fucking little Honda Accord. Dude, Rob Font. Jose Aldo. God, what a fucking fight. I made sure, because I, I went to bed early last night. The fights were fucking late, dude. The main car yeah. started at eight or some shit. I and fucking passed out the last three rounds of Font Aldo. I didn't see it. I didn't rewatch it. Do you have time yet? to rewatch it oh, either. Oh, dude, dude. Last three rounds. You got those last, th- the whole fight was fucking such a sweet fight. Loved how Font came out there right away. Aldo's just a fucking vet. Whether It was such a sweet fight. You got to go watch those last three rounds. But I made sure when I woke up, I didn't look at my, and made sure I didn't get it spoiled. Had Danny pull it up. On ESPN to make sure I didn't see anything. I bet that was nice. Coffee and watching that. Yeah. Shit almond latte. Just grateful though I wasn't sad. <laughs> but yeah, it was fucking sweet. My fucking 
pathetic breakfast that I get. Uh-huh. Uh, dude, fucking Aldo is such an animal. How long he's been an animal and the list of people he's fought. He's... He's. I think he's probably the scariest to fight in the division. In the band of weight division, yeah, all those a fucking tough fight, hundred percent. Gotta be so fucking sweet to fight him someday. Yeah, we're on track. I mean, we got a fucking couple wins. We could fight him, but the the way Font came out right away, switching stances, he was just making sure he didn't want to get that ki- leg kicked. Or, ja- or, or, or he's so good at countering a jab. His fucking pull twos are so fast. Yeah, and I think all I think that's why he switched stances, throwing different jabs and stuff. But yeah. I mean, in the third round, I think it was third round or fourth round, he was kicking the fuck out of his leg. But he didn't throw one until then, which was crazy. Well, that... Well, oh, yeah, oh, I fucking passed out. But the first round, Font was doing a good job at just like not letting him get a good read on when he was going to plant that leg. Dude, five fives changes a game. Like, three fives is like... Did Font pucker out? No, he didn't pucker out. All those landed some good fucking shots, dude. And uh, Damn, so took Font down kept that times. pace the whole time. They, I mean, it was a high pace. Yeah, if anything, all those getting more tired. But but at, at the end of it, they're both their eyes were shut. Great fucking fight, dude. Legendary fight. What's going to be next for them, you think? Font Did, should get the title shot. He should be fighting the winner, Peter Aljo, I would assume. No, Aldo, you mean? Or Aldo. What? Font's going to get a title shot? Or, yeah, Aldo get a title shot over all. Yeah, o- no Aldo. carbs. No carbs. Yeah, no carbs. I'm not smoking weed, so I'm fucking smart, remember? Yeah. No Jose cars. Aldo, oh, TJ next, dude. I, Aldo wants the belt. That's a that way he gets the belt. He next. He's fighting Jan or Aldo. Jan and Aldo are gonna fight. Oh, okay, okay. Did they schedule another one yet? I don't. I don't think so officially. Fuck. Rob Font versus Sanhagen. That's a sick fight. Who would win that? That's a fucking good That's fight. A sick you can't fight. pick. Bantamweight division so fucking sweet right now, dude. Did you watch the co-main? I, I watched it, yeah, yeah, this morning. <laughs> that fight was fucking high level, dude. Those, uh, those dudes are fucking powerful. That's a fifty-five, right? Yeah. Those guys are powerful fuckers. That Rafael Fiziev guy, he just everyone he's fought, he made makes him almost look stupid. He's so much fucking quicker and just so like technical and perfect. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because they were buddies at Tiger Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. And Brad Riddell, I think they said he was the the coach of the striking. I think the other guy was the coach. Brad Riddell was first, and the other guy came oh. in and took his job over. Oh, okay, dude, yeah, you get two training partners at that high level that have trained together before. That just turned out to be such a fucking sweet fight. That hook kick when he was pulling out like that. <sighs> God damn, bro, that was beautiful. That was weird, like fucking, like. Just sh- your brain, like, what's going on at that moment? Your brain is like, like, have you ever been wobbled where your legs give out like that? No, I I did once. I got hit in the top of the head, and I I took two steps back, and I'm like, I'm here, but my legs were fucking like no, wobbly. Not I'm today. like, damn. So I wonder if that's what was going on with him. Yeah, that was. Cr- Remember that one knockout where that guy got fucking hit, and then like five seconds later got dropped. Boof. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that was. Um, I'm drinking 6.7 liters, 1.7 gallons, 217 ounces of water, so I have to pee a fuck ton. So you started your 1.7 gallons yesterday? Today. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, the peeing gets fucking annoying. How Dude, many times on like average? 37 times already today. In a night, though, three or four. Last night, I woke up three times and peed. I guess one was like six, but still, it's like fucking, it's annoying. Because I tried cutting my water out even before. When you say pathetic breakfast, what was it? I mean, it's a uh, couple ounces of chicken and some, some depends. But a still salted blueberry. at least. Yeah, yeah, salted at least, hundred percent. I can't. Yeah, I gotta be. I gotta be thankful for my salt right now because when those those unsalted chicken dinners and lunch is like cool, yeah. dude. I'm stupid. Yeah, no carbs. When Mariah had to do a no carbs one time. Oh my turn. god! And she turned into a psychopath. She literally did. She was just like so snappy and edgy at everything. I'm like, now, see, yeah. <sighs> now that I've done it this many times, I I'm just like prepared for it. But I, yeah, I would love to see uh, Danny do it for a week, or I guess three or four days, whatever it is. Like yeah, I guess I'm doing it for over a week. TJ is the best one in next after. Damn, so he wants, he doesn't even care for the title shot, huh? That would be a crazy fight. That's what I'm saying. I think TJ could beat him. I think TJ's that good. 
That would be a super fucking sick fight. Oh, suppose I, I think I'm on the press conference, dude. I checked out my fight week schedule and it said I mean they don't they don't put you on that schedule unless they fucking you're on I think I'm on the press conference, which would be cool. That'll be awesome. That's I I wonder if there's You've seen those pref- press conferences where there's like a handful of guys. Like, yeah. I wonder if this will be one of those. Like, I wonder if Dom and Pedro will be on it also. They're or... on the prelims, dude. I don't know if you know that. They're on no, the I prelims. Know. I know. I'm just saying I don't think prelim guys go on the fucking press conference. But I I, I don't know either. But I have fight the media week or media day bef- the day before that. Yeah. So I think it is like a press conference where we all sit down. Maybe not, though. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. You don't got n- fucking... Maybe you'll be able to have, like, at least six ounces of coffee before. Yeah, because it's Thursday. It's, like, the shittiest day to do a fucking press conference. Let's do a press conference 12 hours before you fucking weigh in. You got no carbs. You ain't drinking much water. Mm-hmm. Fucking tits, you know? It is. It's fucking tits. Um, dude, I had the... My parlay was fucking mm. on the money yesterday, except Clay Guida's fight. That I had, was a crazy fucking fight. <laughs> Bro, the ref could have stopped it. Very Fuck. well, could a couple times. Every fight, right, huh, Dal? Except that one. Ah, and you would have cashed out at seven hundred. Uh, it was no, like a, less than that. I did oh. like ten dollars for like a six fight parlay. I won a hundred bucks on the Red Box Regionals today. Shout out Tony Red Box. I might throw that on the game. I don't know. Broncos ca- Chiefs game is not very good betting odds, right? Like Chiefs are supposed to smoke them. Chiefs are trash this year. Are they? Yeah, low key. They're all undefeated. Don't Dallas trust is sick. Don't Dallas, they're all undefeated. Like, <laughs> they're not. They're, they're really... I'll pull up their fucking standing. No, there. I know they're not. I don't think they're trash, though. I mean... With Tyreek and Patrick Mahomes? At the first the beginning of the season, they were good. Are, the, are they winning? Suck. Are they beating... Are they number one in the division right now? I'll check. Hold on. They're all their number one. They're all going to the playoffs, guaranteed. <laughs> they're trash. Dude, fucking Warlike hasn't got me wrong on my NFL bets. Every time he says a team, I go put 10 bucks on and it... See, Sono, hurts. he told me 20 with the Cowboys... Or, uh, yeah, when they lost the Raiders. So then I started listening to Sono, and Sono got me a couple bucks the other day. Did he? Yeah. They're tied with the char- the Chargers. What's the record? Seven, seven and four. Seven, seven and four. four. They're, they're not them, great. Not, not That's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, it's worse than it's okay. my record. but <laughs> My sleep scores have been fucking insane, dude. And my readiness have been just insane. And it, it's from eating, not overeating, and eating... Around six thirty seven and just not fucking overeating. I swear to God, that's where my sleep scores are so good right now. I'm obviously hydrated. I'm doing my hot cold. I think those help, but I think it's from not overeating and not digesting at night. My sleep's just insane. So when you wake up, you don't wake up with alarm, and when you wake up, are you just like, Foof, I'm ready to go, or are you just a little? I was a little bit, but in the last couple of days without carbs, I I think it's like harder to wake up for some reason. I'm just like. You lay there I was like fuck Well probably Cause when we're Doing our workouts It's like they're such Explosive fucking workouts And you don't have like The carbs and like, It can't the, be the good for you The glycogen to put back in it you can't, It can't not be good for you That's how we have to cut weight though Like it's how we have to Get the weight down And then do it Like we're doing it As smart as we can But it can't be good for you To fucking work out like that And then not rehydrate Those muscles yeah. God I wish Yeah well, It's crazy if Well it's Nice as like You don't in sparring, you're not getting your fucking head pounded on and then going home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's bad for your brain. Do get it in the head. 69 dating 23, what's that? <laughs> this Marion and Millions show I've been watching on um, Hulu. It's fucking good, dude. These, Marion these Millions? loaded guys, loaded fucking old guys are dating these sexy 23-year-old chicks, 20-year-old chicks. And it's so fucking awkward. And they go and meet their parents and stuff. No. And, and the girls get to live these like lavish lifestyles. Gold diggers. They meet their parents. Oh, no, gold diggers. No, it's disrespectful. Maybe is they it, love them. Is it? They love them. The girl says she's really into Age just older a guys. <laughs> but then I was looking it up. I was I was asking her. I was like, I wonder when you stop getting boners. Like you stop. Like girls after menopause. When is menopause? 60s? Yeah. 60s and, and women start getting all crazy and then they can't reproduce. But I think it said it rapidly, not rapidly, it said it starts declining after 50. Boners? Boners. You just, well, dude, just nowadays, <laughs> testosterone and shit? Yeah. yeah like, true. they talk a lot about that on the More Plates, More Dates, more that that podcast. That shit, uh, pretty interesting podcast. Definitely uh, worth a listen. 
Yeah, if you're, looking, that shit. you're looking into some entertaining shit, Marion Millions is some fucking funny shit. And that's on Hulu? Hmm. On Hulu, yeah. Hulu. The girls are as, like, um, as young as the people's grandkids. Yeah, and it's funny watching them interact and shit. Been watching, just been fucking watching Survivor, dude. I'm just like, get, I'm I, I was, wa- I, I got into the third episode, and I'm like, yeah, it's like a strategy game, which is probably too deep. You probably don't understand it. I yeah, I was like, this is the perfect little elementary school show. For I kids love to that just show. Watch like, and oh, oh god, he hit me in the dude. There was this one episode. I think it was 26, 27. This fucking guy named Colton, dude. The such an asshole. He's very, very, very feminine. Season thirty-seven, you said. I don't remember which one. Twenty-four or something. It's on Amazon, but just like an asshole of a person. And you feel I I don't it was, just, it was so annoying. The first time I watched that, I'm like, I hope this guy gets fucking struck by lightning. Is just, just mean to other people. Insecure as fuck, or yeah, yeah, probably very insecure. He's like very gay, and I'm not. I don't, like you'll watch it and you'll be like, oh my god, he's just an asshole to people. It was the first time I watched that show, and I was like, what the fuck? How could you be that mean to someone? He's just so mean to people. Well, in that show, it's not like. There's no way they they just are providing for themselves for food, is there? They're literally just dude. Look, you if you watch it, you can see how fucking skinny they get after the twenty, oh. even like seventeen days in. You they're noticeably skinny. Really? Oh yeah, but they're also it, it look doesn't look. I mean, they can win challenges and they can eat and stuff. But jail say it's fake. <laughs> I've never seen that show. <laughs> More like, you could go on it, dude. Mind over matter. I'm like, I'm not fucking living. Dude, some of those storms. Yeah. I'm not you, living out there, dude. You could do it, but you'd have to train to do it. You'd have to train. Well, if, to like, if you have a good tribe. Like, some people are, like, wilderness people, and they fucking, I mean, they make sweet fucking shelters and shit, but, like, there's just... Uh, do you we win just, money at the end or what? The winner gets a million. Oh shit! Jesus, it's, I'll, it's I'll a, do it. <laughs> Jay, you're asking me going on the first night. Dal, yeah. you too. Probably okay. first hour. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't. I, wouldn't <laughs> I miss my mom. I miss my mom. And my food. You my cat really is charged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Why Henry Sudo uh, thinks Dominic Cruz has the best chance to beat Peter Young? Didn't someone say he's 100 percent coming back? I don't know. I'm After, sure. Yeah, I, maybe that was just on Instagram. I think Dominic Cruz has the best chance to beat Peter Young due to the Triple C show. Triple C and Schmo show. That's a show. What the fuck? I, I I saw he said that, but I'm like, dude, I don't know. I think Peter, Peter might dot him. fuck his legs up. He's so goddamn quick, dude. And it's not like Dominic Cruz's movement is like it used to, like 30 years old in his fucking prime. You know well, what I mean? think his movement still is that, but it's just like, it's not so crazy anymore because it's MMA's evolved so much when he was doing it. It was just like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Everyone stands Orthodox or Southpaw. Yeah. Now it's like that. That's pretty normal. Corey switches a lot. I switch a lot. Font like, was switching a lot. Spons. I mean, it's just like a not a crazy thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you watch that? Sunday Peter. Call? To, Peter doesn't switch. Does he much? I don't think he, he does. He'll, he'll be orthodox. Throw like a double jab to a two and do a southpaw and then throw a combo off that. He switches nice though. His are like smooth him. transitions. Hmm. Did you watch that Sunday conversation at all? It's pretty good. The show was funny as silly. fuck. Yeah, it was. I didn't watch it until t- till this afternoon. I saw it came out this morning, and a bunch of people kept saying, it's good, it's good, it's good. I was like, fuck, I can't watch it. Shayla and I fucking watched it. Well, what, what was it? Just on funny what? shit. So this on, uh, what is it called? The channel? Uh, uh, Barstools. Barstools, yeah, there we go. Sunday Conversation. Oh, that was funny. Because Trevor, I put the picture Trevor in the sent chat. me that. Yeah, I put the group chat in. He's like, this is fucking funny. <laughs> was that guy, those guys pretty cool? Yeah, they were cool. I didn't know Barstools as big as they are. Yeah, it's crazy. I still can't believe they they signed that. What was it? A seven million or seven figure contract with Patty? Peter or Pat? Pat. Patty. And I still can't believe they are. That's a big risk reward. He's got For one sure. fight in the UFC. It and that's a yeah. it probably guaranteed milli whatever it was like. And for him to re- make enough content to get that back, yeah, he's got to win. Some, hopefully, hopefully he's not like. Hopefully the UFC's smart with them. And they give him fights. It's like, okay, hey, this kid's not going to counterpunch this guy because he can get hit. If they give him some hard hitter that can counterpunch, he might knock him the fuck out. I wonder when he fights next. Is as that came out at all? Mm-mm. I haven't seen nothing. His his pictures are so funny. The before and after. Well, he got he's got his bowl cut. And he's just got his fat face now. <laughs> You'd I'm, look fire with that cut, though. That would no. be sick. That would be sick. Come on, come on. That would be sick. That would be sick. Dude, I can't wait for shows. That why. Um. God, I was looking at my fight week schedule. It's so 
We're gonna bring Madden at least. We'll have, mm-hmm. but we're gonna. Be, I mean, fuck, I got interview after interview after interview Wednesday and then Thursday. A fuck ton of stuff. But I mean, we'll be busy for the most part. Um, we'll be able to get them in here and there. But I was wondering, I'm, and I know you guys are gonna get pissed about this. Can we do a tally sheet? Because we're gonna do a tally sheet of the whole week. Who wins more? Can we do one of okay, all pro and all Madden? I th- it just doesn't make sense to play all Madden because it doesn't. That's not you aren't all Madden level. You your user, your actual user isn't all Madden level. That means all your players that you aren't using are all Madden. So you could be a fucking defensive end and your whole defense is on mm-hmm. all Madden and I'm playing against all Madden because you're gonna be the Bucks, the best team. So it's M- like, maybe maybe that's I, like me that's playing not... against the best team though. That that's they play on all pro for a reason. It's just more fair for it's more competitive. It's more so what realistic. If, what if we played all Madden and we had the same overalls? I wonder if Patty gets puss. His his girl was actually pretty cute. I saw him with his girlfriend. She's like, I'm just like, oh hell yeah, that's decent Patty. Good for Patty. You think he's um, hot, Shayla, or no? Mm-hmm. Patty? No. Really? <laughs> Come on. No. The little J right there. <laughs> Did you go to that frat party? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah, it was. Damn, I wonder what those are like anymore. She went to a Grizz Cats game the other day in Montana. We should probably we should go to one of those disguised one time, see if we can look yeah. young. They'd be like, funny. who's this fucking four year old kid? Dude, like, you would look up? fucking old. I, no, look, I wouldn't. I would fit right in. I look like a college professor. The girl at Sprouts, the cashier, she guessed I was twenty six the other Cap. day. I swear. <laughs> okay, when you tell someone to guess your age, and do I you go, think they really care like twenty six? I don't leave shut the fuck up and no, get out of my No, She was line. actually like dry hump in the air when like, she said twenty six. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. God, dude. Wow. <laughs> I, I like, uh, I was telling Jay, I like the Impulsive's uh, desk because it's like, it's not right across from each other where you have to stare. It's like at an angle where yeah. you don't always yeah. have to get eye contact. Our desk's sick. <laughs> yeah, it is. In our new dude? And it's bad. Enough. Yeah, that's <laughs> sick. That's lit. That's sweet. I haven't got it yet. Well, dude, if if we have this, this little mall area, Art's going to have the Art of Recovery. There's a weightlifting gym right next to it. My gym would be right across the hall, and then the coffee shop down the hall, and then the men's TRT station, Kitty Corner. <laughs> What's that? It's a it's a a doctor who uh, does TRT. He actually does. Yeah, in that spot, and oh, he was wow. getting tatted the other day in there. No, <laughs> yeah, damn. He, so he's cool, but dude, that fucking little setup would be pimp. Damn, that's life, champ. But and then I talked to the lady that I was thinking about moving the gym to, and she's just like. Saying about the landlords and the roof and just dude, that fucking, fucking pain in the ass. looks like it's about to fall cave I know. in. I'm glad she told me that. Well, if you look up, she need, no one needs to tell you that. I walked in there. I'm like, dude, this place might collapse if there's a storm. Yeah, too you much patch work. up, patch it up. It'd patch be way up. too much fucking work, especially if there's mold in there. Well, especially if it's us. If it's fucking raining and collapsing shit, there's got to be mold. We finally got our road fixed. Fuck. No, you didn't. The one that goes up to your yep. joint? Damn, yep. let's go. 12 it's, racks. Me and Mark split it. Is it smooth as butter? Smooth as butter. That's nice. What? Is it concrete? Uh, It's like paved rocky shit, but it's just not like it used to be. It's so much nicer, dude. That's Fuck cool. yeah. So much nicer. I just drive up and down all zoop, day. Oh, ass? Just, no, I don't. Yeah, they told you not to. <laughs> My mom lost my slingshot key, you know? And we cannot get another one made up unless you tow it into Polaris, supposedly. I didn't know that, so I bought... Uh, a generic one on Amazon that you can get. So my mom brought it to a, someone and said, hey, she said, hey, this I need this for the glove box. They're like, well, it's not going to work on the ignition. She's like, oh, no, that's fine. Hoping that it would still work on the ignition. Went, got it molded. Doesn't work on the ignition. Works on the glove box. But whatever. Lost that too. So I, just have, I haven't drove my... It's perfect weather. This is when I love driving my slingshot the most. I haven't got to drive it once. It's sweet. Why can't you get a key made? You have to tow it in, and you can't. You have to tow it a specific way because of the the wheels and shit. And uh, she just doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to tow it or pay oh, for it. Fuck, I'm gonna pain in the ass. It is, dude. So my life sucks. Okay. That's what I told her. So fine, I was buying a new one. No, no, I'm gonna get it towed. Uh, another fight. Did you watch the Chris Curtis fight? That black. I kid? didn't. Is that the one? Like that, that's the one. Same kid who did had he that win again? Epic fucking moment in Madison Square Garden. Like he's like I said, he's retired like two, three times and said fuck in it. one night. Keep coming back. Fought six times this year in smaller shows. Finally got a short notice in the UFC. Knocked the guy out, out in the uh, Madison Square Garden. When was that? A Couple, month ago? Yeah. Couple. And now he took this fight against Brandon Allen, who's like a top a contender. Supposed to be a stud up and coming. He and he him. KO'd him. Did he really? It was crazy. I put Holy 10 bucks on him, shit. too. shit. Because he was probably a big underdog. Oh, yeah, he was. How much you get? 30? I think 20 or something. <laughs> 
Dude, that's funny. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll go to do like a $5 parlay. I, I like a football team. I'm like, ah, can't do it. <laughs> Dude, your parlay for this week, for the this week's fight is crazy. Like right now, it's like at 500 for 10 bucks. The Five, parlay? For your, like the fight. For, this for me to lose? Not to win. Come on. Champ. Oh, champ. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's going to be cool being at the press conference with all those guys. I know. I hope. I know. I'm, I've been racking my brain trying to think of some good some good little back and forths. But I think Cody will be up there. Um, if, if they do the press conference, what I'm thinking, like, Cody will be up there. Pive will be up there. He doesn't fucking speak English hardly. So it's like, might as well not even be there. Um, Cody's <laughs> fighting Kaikar France. Not very, like. It's like kind of tough back and forth. Somebody just start talking shit to fucking Dustin. You just something. interrupt no, everyone. I'm like, ha! <laughs> it's acting like a five year old. Yeah, Connor, just start talking with an accent. Or just like anytime someone talks, you like bring up someone who beat him. Khabib. <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> like, what the uh, fuck is wrong with this kid? Khabib. Yeah, that'd be silly, dude. Um, Mickey Gal, I bet. Uh, I bet on that fight. He lost, right? To Alex Moreno, but he fucking That's put a up sweet a tough fight. fight. I, I, I didn't watch the results. I actually did watch the fight, though. I didn't really watch the results, which is weird of me. Brian Barberino. Tougher than a fucking sack of sacks, dude. Dude, he's so fucking tough. Jesus they Christ. They didn't take that on short notice, too. I don't know if he... No, I think because he was supposed to fight Matt Brown. Oh, but, that, that other guy took it on but short But our notice. boy Brian, he lives out on a farm with his family, like his fucking... The best family, huh? There's, I used to babysit for him like four or five years ago. Yeah. Cool as fuck. And I don't know, fucking just tougher than shit, dude. He's so goddamn durable. Yeah, that was I was gaming during that game, but I kept watching. Oh, you've been streaming Madden? You just played a couple games. I just played one game so How fun far. was it? How smooth is it on a PC? It was real fun, but I, I didn't know until I watched a little bit of your stream that you could uh, talk with the other person. Because yeah, I couldn't talk to John. I, I had to figure it out, too. You just got to go into settings, and then the Audubon's like game talk. You talk to other people. That's, that makes the it... What the fuck are you laughing at? I just read something about you. They just put on... Internet. Let's the fuck read it the then, Dow. Read it. Can't, my fucking shit's frozen. Said Raul said he's gonna knock you out. Oh. <laughs> um. Raul. I think it's like Halion or something. Right? Raul. Or whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, Jimers, you barely beat him. I smashed him. You beat him by three. I think I beat him by 14. Oh, no, I beat him by three because I kept throwing at the end, trying to disrespect him. Yeah, but that's not 14. He, he picked it, brought it uh. back. I'm like, uh. But, dude, PC is so fucking smooth on Madden. That's so fun. I can see the settings, though. All Pro is definitely different. Well, it's, it makes it... That's probably because you realize how good you're not because your team's not playing for you. That's what it is, and there's no other way around it. That's why they play like that in competitive settings. Hmm. And you might as well just say, oh, okay, instead of like, well, like, well, well, well so... Out of, like this. So why, would, so why wouldn't you just... Okay, if you're a better team than me, then you should smoke me every time all Madden, right? Unless you, unless one of us were significantly better than each other, which I think for me might be the case Mm-mm. on all Madden. Why that you you have no valid point at all? No. you get mad at coaches' suggestion, <laughs> dude. I was asking like some pro Madden players and stuff, and they're like, "It's called co- coach's suggestion. It's a suggestion. Like, yeah, you can fucking use it. You probably shouldn't. That's why none of them do." Yeah. So you, your points are just, they suck, dude. They suck. So if you have a better overall than me, if we make sure when we play on All Madden, I pick a team that has a better overall than me, and we keep the record. Why? I'm not playing on All Madden. <laughs> you and more. If you guys are that good, you'd be beat I'm not me that on any good. setting. I'm not that good. I don't think I'm that Speaking good. Speaking of that bet war made with me. Let's tell the people. War versus Tim, when War comes down, is going to play 10 games of Madden. If Tim beats him one time, Warlock has to give you $100, and he has to shave his eyebrows. Yep, I shave them. All right. Yeah, no, no, if he beats you 10 times. 10 times? Oh, you shave his. No, if I beat him one time out of 10, yes. I shave his brows clean off. <laughs> and if he beats you 10 out of 10, you shave yours off. Yeah. I think you'll win. I haven't seen him play, but Dude. I think he went. And you saw me. What did him? <laughs> hey, he's good though. It was on all he's Madden. Good. That's and I was the Bucks, so I can't. I deny think that. I told you on stream. You had already made the bet. I said I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. And I'm better than you. And I'm going to have done it. I don't. I, I I'm not confident to say you're better than me at that game. Let's play it. Let's play on the PC. Because on all like, Madden, if I'm the Bucks, it's not like we <laughs> haven't played in the past. Let's play then. Oh, we'll play. Okay. 
But I just don't think he should have made that bet. But it would be funny to see him with no eyebrows down here. He would be ruined. <laughs> he wouldn't want to go out. His girl would dump him. Well, he would be down here. They'd go back in a couple months. He'd be all right. I think mine are light enough to where I could give him a little little buzz in. I mean, a little bit of... Yeah, you'd be fine. That's straight. God, well, your glass <laughs> with your glasses on, you can't see your eyebrows. If you take them off, you'd be a fucking pedophile. <laughs> Look like a pedophile. Speaking of, you see the Jillian, Galeen Maxwell case is, is on trial and stuff. It's pretty like, can't find too much about it. I've been trying to read up and stay with it too. I've been looking on the YouTube. It's pretty fucking crazy though. Those They said, Bill Gate continued to meet with Epstein. Bill Gate? After, that's what it says in the tweet. After his first it's prison tweet, sentence <laughs> ended. Gates also flew on the Lolita Express with Epstein in 2013, five years after Epstein was legally designated a child sex offender and a sex trafficker. That's Bill Gates. Bill Gates? Yeah, well, there's a lot of them. Trump, fucking the one dude from that one place, that king of that That's one place. Those guys are just so rich and powerful. I wonder if they just they just want to see how much they can get away with or... Or I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't think, that, yeah, I don't really think there's anything, I don't know. It's because there's fuck. that gene on YouTube, that gene on YouTube where people talk about it, they're, they're, they're like, wait, what's the definition of a pedophile? Look it up. They're into younger kids and they admit it and they're like, I hate it and I don't act on it, but it's just terrible. That's, that, that's a thing? It's a disorder, I think. It says uh, a person who is sexually attracted to children. That's <sighs> it. So that's basically you. <laughs> <laughs> Your Fucking face. freak. Jesus Christ. Well. Well, that's that. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, our, our gambling apes are going up. I know. I've been seeing that. I've been seeing that. My den- mine's dropping, uh, I think. Well, I, I, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna say. It's dropping fight week. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fucking legendary. That'll be sweet. That'll it be is going to shoot. There's, you said there's 10,000. Yes. There's 10,999. Yeah, those are going to be collectibles one day for sure. 100%. Uh, Yeah, Bitcoin and Ethereum can literally just fucking plummet and everyone just lose everything they have. It's crazy. I'm like, oh, it's like fucking AIDS. It's the worst. I just don't look at it that much. Yeah, you don't? Uh -uh. I like to just look at it every morning and just see. Really? Yeah, with my robe, my coffee. (laughs) See where we're at. Yeah. I can see you doing that. Just Mm. fucking getting pissed and beating Mariah. Yeah, down too far. Uh, uh, the boys, Steve, Bradley, uh, yeah, Bradley, Steve, Steiny, the Nelk boys, all gonna be at the fight. It's gonna be fucking legendary. Take some shots with the boys after some happy dads, maybe. I don't know. I'm not getting black though. I decided, you know, happy dads are good. Happy dads will be fun. But you'll be good as long as you, we don't run into Bellagio. Dude, again. fuck Bellagio. <laughs> I know he needs a couple of uppercuts. Dude, yeah, fucking Bellage. Shayla's going to the fight. Daniel's going to the fight. Swag's coming down. Michael too. Michael maybe. I don't know. He's he, we're gonna see, but I think I don't know. They have three kids, so it's yeah. like he can't. I don't think he can leave. And one day we should go to the gym when no one's there and just open it up, have the kids and the poodles running around. That'd and stuff. be funny. Probably like that. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be good. That'd be good. I haven't smoked in fucking probably over two weeks. Just fucking, it's I'm hitting genius level too. I can feel Fuck, it. Fuck, dude, I miss that level. Just so smart and just so fast with shit. Just Fuck. no shit. Not me. I'm fogged up. Baby. I know. I'm yeah, fogged you're fogged up. up. Fogged up and stupid. I'm fucking. I, I don't see how people wake up in the morning and Schmitty. just <laughs> and just here we are again. <laughs> he does. I'd, Fuck, crazy. dude. I like to be a little bit sharp Swag. in the morning. I mean, uh, purple drink. What the fuck? Just get doinked up. Just get in the doinked morning. right away, early did, on. So often. did Perp drink? Perp drank a friend of ours from Twitch. Did he just overdo it on the doinks? What do you mean? Joints? Is Does he, he overdo a, it? He's on a breath breathalyzer thing now, right? Purpose? Yeah, he scent of it. It was like steam going into his. He's probably just cleaning the old lungs out. <laughs> <laughs> she doing old cleansing. Fuck. Getting them tuned up a little. Just bit. Just getting them tuned up a bit, eh? Um. Yeah, but. Dan- uh, how was it having little Nick? That little fucker's funny though, dude. <laughs> at, at grappling, I was just like, he's like, ee. I'm like, he's a funny dude. dude. Five, four nights in a row. I mean, Danny, Danny took care of, care of him most of the time. Um, but yeah, that was that's definitely game changing. Having <laughs> two and one just little five. Yeah, it was it was crazy. That's what I was telling Ryan. I was like, man, it would just two. 
It would just be fun watching them interact together. It was funny watching them interact, though. It was. That was that was fucking cute. Yeah. Still, dude, the kid, I'm like, fuck. I just got to say goodbye to all my freedoms. Well, it it's crazy. Like, I am so lucky because Danny does hair, and she loves doing hair, but she only needs to do it three times a week. And yep. when, she, when she does do hair, like her mom, she, we have so much help. Mm-hmm. It would be so much different if it was like, all right, Danny's going to work a bunch. And then when she's gone, I have to watch her every time. Like I had her all day today. It was, and then my mom watched her for a couple hours. But it's not that bad. It's if it's every day, it would be fucking tough, dude. It would be draining because especially no carbs. I'm like fucking exhausted. And she wants to go walk outside. Then she wants to go inside. Then she wants to eat. And then she wants to, it's like, oh. Yeah, it does. My mom's coming to visit, and I was like, well, you're I wanna, pregnant. I want to talk her into moving here. And so, I, like, if we have a kid, then we have a little bit of help. So you're going to manipulate her <laughs> to use her for how you want. That makes sense. I I mean, I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. You'd probably bring her a lot of enjoyment being around her grandkids. That's one way to rationalize it. I agree. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, my students just got done competing. They're scrapping. There was a no-gi tournament and a gi tournament so good for those people that have never competed in anything to go in there and like you watch someone compete in jiu-jitsu or you watch a fight and you're like oh man they're just so calm in there I, I could do that and then they shadow box in their living room you're like yo I look pretty good and then you get in there and you've never competed before and you're going just like 100% squeezing you can't breathe the other person can't breathe and they're like holy fuck <laughs> it is dude it's crazy like one on one competition like combat sports wise is, is different if you've never done it you think you know yeah, and the cardio competing is di- usually different than in the gym unless you know that level of yeah. cardio. It's like, fuck, okay, I got to push. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? What's on schedule for tomorrow? Uh, Tomorrow I'm going to do sprints in the morning up at the house on the treadmill with my shit almond latte, and then I'm grateful for it. And then I'm going to go to... Why are you going almond? Oat milk has way more carbs. No grass-fed oh, butter yeah. either. Oh yeah, almond right. milk's not. I don't have too many calories, too many carbs. Oat milk's just fucking extra. Same I'm, with the grass fed butter. I wonder if he would care if he did a, a bulletproof almond. I mean, some butter and coconut oil and honey, make it creamy and good. Yeah, but the butter has got a lot of. Oh, but uh, I'm I'm fine. I just suck it down. I'm just grateful. You know what I mean? Mm. It's all mind over matter shit. <laughs> I've been craving some monsters ever since you said you Dude, sucked Dude, Monster down. sent me a thousand fucking monsters. Like, my fridge is packed with monsters. I was checking them out. All of them have caffeine. Every single one of them. There's like, even the hydro waters have 140 milligrams of caffeine. So the other day, I didn't do a coffee, but I did a monster. They're fucking delicious, dude. <sighs> it almost makes you like, God, I could substitute that for a month. It's like a, I know. which one do I want? Because that monster taste, and it's like a, I don't know. I didn't really have, it didn't get me too jacked because I didn't, it was the first day, no carbs. And it was like, a, I was, I don't know, I was kind of tired all day anyway, but they were good. I'm going to have to give you a couple cases. I know, big Hans, Hans hit me up today. He said he wants to talk tomorrow about getting it. Maybe he's just going to send a bunch to the gym or something. Ooh, dude, yeah. I know, it's hard not to just, it'd be hard not to just slurp 150, on 40, or 140 or 150 milligrams of caffeine. So it's like. I am too sensitive to caffeine. Yeah. I had a decaf coffee at 2.30 the other day, and I was laying in bed at 10.30, and I swear to God, I could... I'm like, I know this is you from the coffee. You said 2.30? 2.30 to like 3, I was drinking it. Decaf small, which is still caffeine, yeah. and I don't lay in bed at 10.30 and have that fucking anxiety feeling, and I had it, and I know it was from that caffeine. And then I was, I'm like, people are like, I have insomnia. I can't sleep at night. They're at fucking Starbucks at 5 p.m. Oh, yeah. Sipping their fucking Red Bull. I'm like, what? Yeah, chugging a monster before jujitsu at night. They're like, having insomnia. I said, if you really want to dial in your fucking sleep, if you drink caffeine eight hours before you go to bed, then it's going to fuck it no up. Way. I don't know. You don't fuck with caffeine too much, <clears throat> I do you, do Yeah? I've been because of this fucker. What do you do? I just drink aminos, like uh, Celsius, shit like that. Celsius oh, has like 300 million. Yeah. Shit's good. Though. Those Jocko ones have 95 yeah, milligrams. Yeah, nice. just a nice little. Jocko's, yeah. I'm, yeah. For, I've been doing a orange Zevia with a squeeze and a half a lime in there or a lemon. It's so delicious. It's like a perfect little flavor enhancer. Yeah, but that is fucking good. Any of those kids Zevias, dude. Oh, kids Zevias are fire. With the little limes, probably fucking damn good. Yeah, it's good, good. But, uh, yeah, last night, what did we do for, uh, what did we do? 
<laughs> I fucking forgot. Did you hit the doctor dabber too hard, I, bud? I, dude, I, five milligram edible, little joint. Dude, the little joint highs. They're nice. I don't actually. They're one of my them. favorite. They're right now. They're one of my favorite compared to the. I don't know. I go back and forth, volcano, and then a little joint and and shit. Yeah, they're all different. It's crazy. They're all fucking different. I'm in high. Wow. Yeah, you were saying I what I did last. What did I do? <laughs> What'd you have for lunch? That looked fire. Today, me and uh, JX, we went to um, this Volmina breakfast spot. Look good. A fat omelet. And then we, Jay talked me into getting some donuts. I saw that, Jay. What the You fuck, probably dude. talked to him into hey, getting donuts. Hey, you shut up. Dude, was like, let's stop by this spot and get some donuts. Were they good? <laughs> That's what I know. Fire. Same, good. same place that makes the Pop-Tarts from Drift. Is that why your energy's so low? Probably. I'm crashed out. Crashed out. It's all good. Crashed out from the ash out. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I've had a piece since the beginning of this podcast. <laughs> Oof. Dude, I'm about to piddle all over, too. <laughs> well, I'm not going to 41 minutes. Over. But yeah, that's, that's life, man. That's life. What have you been up to, Shayla? Working at the, uh, dog, it's a, a dog daycare, right? Uh-huh. Um, Mariah was sit- saying that you were saying there's a Dalmatian that gets dropped off there every yeah. day, all day, every day, and the weekends? Yeah, even on Thanksgiving. What the fuck? Yeah, what? like seven in the morning doesn't, Who it's drops the last it off? dog to leave. A girl He'll or drop guy. it off sometimes, but then he even has someone else a to pet it? sitter that has him. Sometimes. So he's got a good relationship. How much dog. is it for a full day of daycare there? Um, there's like monthly things, so it's like five sixty a month. And then unlimited, or yeah, it's and it's over the night too. You'll put your baby in a dog costume. <laughs> <laughs> Take him. Is it overnight too? Um, you can. That's a separate like fee though. Damn, that's pretty cool. But, yeah. You start building relationships with the dogs and mm-hmm. stuff? Yeah, that's you can tell fun. their personalities and stuff. It's pretty cool. How'd fun. Pete do there? <laughs> he would kill someone, for sure. It's my boy! <laughs> yeah, right. You get his ass beat. Yeah, right. Pete will <laughs> fuck you up. Pete wouldn't fuck Beetle up. Dude, <laughs> Beetle's got a vagina. <laughs> oh, what was that thing you sent me? The girl swimmer? Or Was that you, Jay, that sent it? I think Tim sent that. Uh, the, the transgender? The Twitter? The transgender swimmer. That's fair, dude. If you're a guy your whole life, you get really good at swimming, and then and you go and say you're a girl and beat girls, it's fair, dude. I don't see, I don't see any yeah. other argument. Let's That's see. completely just rational. Well, pro- five years, ten years down the road, they'll be all. <laughs> it trans says here, champions. I'm pretty sure. Beat all the other women by 15 seconds <laughs> in the 500 last night. 15 seconds in the swim competition. That's that fair, dude. I know. What do you do? <laughs> you just fuck. I think that I think the only way that'd be fair is if you have to cut the tip of his wiener off right before he swims, and then let him go and make. That's fair. That's fair, right? Yeah. Or I wonder if he has a wiener. Yeah, hundred percent. Or she has a wiener. So she hey, has a wiener. Careful. <laughs> no, I know. Hey, get canceled. No, no, no. That's why I said if she has a wiener. Yeah, they. She does. No, they can't say that. Well, and if I wonder don't call if, it a wiener. <laughs> Uh, 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 a sheener <laughs> A sheener That's a good one She might have a little sheener on her <laughs> Oh fuck uh, She's cute <laughs> Yeah it's The fact that they let that happen In the Olympics even There's, gonna, would there's gonna be There's gonna be No, no. I wouldn't yeah, You would You'd fuck her I wonder if Schmitty would though He's been so long He would He would He would I wouldn't even mad What were you gonna say though Champ Um in the Olympics, dude, they're they're already letting that girl doing it. So if they keep let allowing that, there, dude, it's just there's, strategy. At this there's point. gonna be there's gonna be a male that's a champion in everything. That's what no, I was they're about females. To say. The definition of a female. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Uh, did you watch Gervonta's pod on Nelk? I did. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I thought. I'm, it, dude, when he said that if someone wrestled him, he's from the hood, that shit was so... That was that, fire. That was fucking good. That was fire. It was so funny how delusional. Yeah. But it's, if he'd never wrestled in his life other than in the hood when he was a little dude, then he you don't know, dude. You just don't fucking know. Yeah. But the fact that he said that, what he said, I'm from the hood. We wrestle. First thing we do is swing, and then we're going to slam you. That shit was so <laughs> no. good. That was funny. That could be a MAGA fight someday if he wants to cross over, champ. God, dude, there's there's zero percent <laughs> chance he'd cross Thank over. You. Yeah, no. I mean, if there's anyone around him, dude, who knows if he actually thinks like that? And his boxing coach, like, we got a dude. shot, kid. Dude, no, and then they'll be like, hey, let's go get, let's go get one grappling practice and a practice, and he'll be like, never mind, fuck that. Yeah, that's true. He fights tomorrow night. It's, it's tonight. It's tonight. 
Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna remind myself. I actually want to watch that. I think I think uh, I'm a fan, dude. I like watching him. What time's that fight? It, at? It'd almost be Probably better be if he was, if he was to take an MMA fight to never let him grapple. Just let it would him be, be delirious. Yeah, it would be better. Meant yeah, for sure. Going into that fight, but he's also five three. Is he? Yeah. But he pa- he punches fucking hard. Yeah, though. he does. Yeah, he does. Fast too. Fast and good boxer. He's a dangerous, yeah. dangerous stand up fighter. Dangerous little dude. That's what I say. Mm-hmm. What do you got going on the rest of the day? It's five o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to go home and uh, do what I do there. Yeah. Probably me too. Danny should be getting off soon. I've still been plunging in the nights, dude. Even no matter how ripped I am, I force myself to oh, do that, bitch. Being ripped and getting in, probably even, it's just like, fuck. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll do it and I'll be like, holy, this I don't even is feel easy. It. Yeah. Maybe it's the different weeds. Yeah. Different weeds and gent. Well, uh, what t- we should probably get one game of Madden. I want to play on the PC together. That'd be fun. And the stream, dude, the stream's a hundred average and a hundred more viewers every stream just playing Madden. It's crazy. People That's love pimp. it. I was like the number one streamer on Madden the other day, or top three. I'll have some. We have any time tomorrow? Um, mid-day, tomorrow afternoon. Mid-day. I depend on how long. Danny's gonna do my hair. It's gonna be fucking sweet. I'm pretty sure she's collaborating with a hot chick too. So. Damn. <laughs> We'll see if I got time in the afternoon, if you know what I mean. A little double beach. <laughs> yeah, right. But you got your fits ready, Sean? Women. What? Your outfit ready or no? I've been slacking, dude. It's just been, I mean, I got a couple couple suits, couple fits ready, but it's just like, once I cut those carbs, I don't give a fuck about thinking about anything extra. <laughs> you should have enough shit in your closet to get fancied up. I got yeah. enough. I got enough. I mean, I'm going to have some ice on. My hair's going to be looking good. I might just show up my underwear. Just fucking slick your hair back, throw on your chains, throw on your robe, and head to the press conference. Wear my fucking old grill that was <laughs> melted from my other teeth. Yeah. They just don't even fit in my mouth. How's your, uh, damn, your teeth are starting to straighten up. Invisalign's bit. been, cr- dude, it's crazy how fat, like, the science behind it, like, actually put them in every third day and just like slowly forms your teeth. Did it's you watch the video badass. with Steve where he got that guy a grill? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I did. That was fucking yeah, sick. Got Rodney. Hey. 25 Jeez. Dude, Rodney, that was fucking crazy. Dude, those teeth, how much they can fucking change a person. I know. He just... Crazy. Rodney Connor got his it. veneers. Connor's got his. You see Connor, how big he... Oh, we talked about that, right? Yeah, his veneers. Like, no, we didn't talk about how stacked he's, he's getting. Oh. He's stacked, dude. I don't think that's necessarily good for fighting, dude. I don't think that's going to be a, a, an advantage or a benefit. The the more I think about it, the more you just fluctuate weights like that, it, it's got to be very unhealthy for you. Can't, you can't... Dude, if he's 190 right now, he should not go down and fight at 155. He's he's pro, it sounds, watch him go do it and be fast as fuck and be better never too. He could hundred percent. Not doesn't mean it doesn't not bad for your longevity. Yeah, but it sounds like he's wanting to set up that Nate Diaz fight. Yeah, I mean that's the last fight on Nate Diaz's contract. One seventy. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, and Connor said he's got three left. Interesting times. Interesting times we live in. It is, especially knowing like like that triad combat's out now, trillers out. With those though, it's like, how long is that gonna last? Exactly. Are the UFC inv- is here forever. Yeah. Are the investors gonna be like, hey, we just fucking put we just five million into this into this event, and you gave us one hundred and twenty five grand back? Yeah. No, it's tricky. UFC is definitely the the number one place to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh wow, 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 wow! Fight week, dude. Tomorrow, I'm fucking jacked. Off. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. I got a pack. You got a pack still? Yep. I'm gonna not pack so much fucking shit, dude. I do this every time. I always pack way too many clothes. I'm like, I don't need that many fucking clothes. Yeah. I'm not gonna pack so much. Half the shit we wear all fucking week. It's just <laughs> a know. pair of sweats and the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm just gonna pack one little backpack. And, and you only got one pair of socks, so it's like you don't need to pack that. Yeah, I still got that pair. That Reebok fucking whole <laughs> pair. In yeah, the underwear or the little cheetah print? Yeah, a little cheetah print oh, underwear. Don't. Those are my specialties. Mariah probably fucking burned those. Shit. You guys still dating? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <sighs> fucking no. Oh, fuck. uh, what else? That's pretty much it. That's all I got to say, dude. Yeah, I'm about I'm to tap piss too. myself. 50, 50 episode 106. Dude, for t- episode 200, 
I'm getting Tyler Tats for you, dude. I got it. <laughs> for you, dude. <laughs> Sono sent me a video. He's like, I'm going to have to get that, like, I don't know, Tyler Tats or whatever her name is. I'm like, don't snap me saying Tyler Tats or whatever her name is. I know you subbed to her shit, dude. 100%. Like, Sono is a, a fake Christian, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of those out there. That's your opinion. Not mine. No, there's a lot of those those people that in the religion, this clearly says if you want to be good at this religion, you do these things. But people are just like, no, that's not good. I know. He's like, I pick and choose. I got to just, I do. I'm still a Christian though. Yep. But it's it's, it's got to come down to a fear Hell thing. No. Dow, are you re- what religion are you, dude? I'm Catholic. <laughs> you ain't no, you're Catholic. Not. I don't go to church, but I believe in it. What do you believe in Catholic? God. Give me something. Come on, man. I believe in God. Give me some. Yeah, but give me the details of it. The God, like the guy upstairs, God. Yeah, that. Guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's a that. guy for sure. He's yeah. It's a guy. Sexy. <laughs> he's a Sexy. guy. He's a guy. He's up there jacking off. With no, Dwight. he's probably. I don't know. It's dude. for sure a guy though. I for sure believe it's a guy. <laughs> you don't think it's just an energy or like uh, it's just a guy? I don't know. It's because it's like when who you're... created God then? Jesus. Who created Jesus? Yes. Yeah, Jesus created God. Well, Mary, Mary, and Joseph. Had a baby. Okay, who Jesus. created them? Who created the creator? <laughs> That's his book, though. My book's different. <laughs> See, but Jesus I'm is Jewish. Jehovah's go- son. But it's Jehovah's all different, Jesus. though, in different religions. Which Ex- one's right? Everybody has. I think belief, we should though. go to war and kill each other over it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has your belief, bro. It's just different. Everybody has. Left. I believe in. God. I choose to say I don't so fucking know. Was your mom Catholic? Yeah, my whole family's Catholic. Is so that it, why you're my Catholic? Gra- my grandma's like super like heavy into if, like that if shit. If your whole family was Mormon, would you be Mormon probably? Fuck no. No, I would have found Catholic. You'd found Catholic? I would just not even believe in it. I would just do my own thing. Cap. I don't know. Cap is cap. The, the, yeah, you don't know? No, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't know. Really if if your whole family was Mormon, you'd probably be Mormon. You wouldn't. I'm be pretty like, sure they would. They would. They would have probably like led me into that as a kid. Yeah. There's so probably I, not something you read like no. Nah. But I had to go to like <laughs> Catholic. Catholic. No, nah, I mean, this one's not true. <laughs> no, they make it as you go to like Sunday like classes. I and went shit. to all that yeah, shit. Wednesdays, same. Sundays, yeah, maybe I was Wednesday, there. Sundays. You guys were in the in uh, Catholic school? No, it's like a it was like an hour thing. That catechism. Catechism. What catechism. Yeah, catechism. That what it was? Yeah. I was a Christian though. Not yeah. I don't fuck with those Bible Catholics study. and Luther. Oh, wait, Lutheran <laughs> is that its own yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Christians like. The best. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna get that tatted next. No, not the best. So, Jehovah was made out like ten years ago. You're fucking, no. ca- dude. No. Uh, no. Jay's, Jay, Jay's atheist. I know for a fact. Only no. God. Um, no, Jehovah goes way back. I, no, I don't want to. Like- I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> oh shit. Whatever, dude. What's Luke doing? <laughs> what the hell? There's fucking some bitch to Tech Nine. Okay. Damn. So I didn't know Dallas Catholic. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna watch what I say and shit around him. Why don't you? If you if so you believe that it's the truth, why wouldn't you try to sell that to us, who are your best friends? I, bro, I, you know what's funny? Like my mom goes to church every Sunday, and I don't even go. I'm like I don't. Then why do you claim so to you be don't, Catholic? You don't respect God enough to go. It makes sense. I'm busy. <laughs> Too busy for God. Wow. <sighs> wow, that one was deep. So a scale of one to one hundred, how good of a Catholic are you? <clears throat> I'm probably not even close to like. I'm like in the middle. Just pull out, brother. I know my love. <laughs> <laughs> Just come over here and be with <laughs> us. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well. But that. Yeah, fuck it. Fifty-three minutes. He's at fifty-three. Oh, I think that's how it one hundred and one hundred is fifty-three. Oh shit. <laughs> Bob. Let's call it episode 166. I'm gonna pee my pants. 166. Yep. 166. Dow. Is it really? Yeah. Oh fuck. Fucking Catholic. Yep. Episode 166. Uh, see you next weekend. Hopefully, I'm with a W. Hopefully, I'm not dead. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not dead. <laughs>